What up guys, Yelani with the White Trini. I just got home from work and today is Good Friday. So we're gonna hang out with friends, we're gonna cook up a lot of good food and we're just gonna have a good time. So let's do it. All right guys, we are gonna do something that they do back home in Trinidad on Good Friday that involves two glasses and an egg each. And I guess it's to see your future or something like that. So let's try it out. Oh, oh, there it goes. So basically we're letting all the white part of the yolk fall in a glass of water. Okay guys, I have my glass and my wife's glass. We're gonna take these outside. Here we go. White Trini, wifey. We'll see what happens. Check it out. We are going to bake a smoked turkey leg today because my sister-in-law doesn't eat pork. So we're gonna get that all going just now. Just wanted to show you that. And then here we have a ham that we're gonna bake. First, we are going to rub in some sugar and some garlic that we have in here and dried um, pepper all mixed in. So we're gonna rub this into our smoked turkey leg here. Now this is already cooked, so we just have to heat it through real good. I'm gonna rub this all in. Okay, and get the underneath. Okay, rub it in real good. Get a little more there. Rub that into all the crevices there. Nice. Right. Okay guys, we went ahead and rubbed in all our brown sugar with the dried pepper and the garlic. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some cloves in. Just gonna go ahead and stick some cloves into the meat, just like we would uh, normally a ham. This will give it extra flavor. Most people that bake a ham, this is usually a staple thing, but this is being a smoked turkey leg. Just do the same principle there. Guys, let me know what you do with your ham or your smoked turkey legs, as far as seasoning it up, what type of seasoning you use, etc., etc. Let me know. It's gonna be pretty good. All right, flip it over. Oops. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish this one up and then I'll get back to you guys when I'm doing the ham. Okay, guys, now we're on to our ham. Same principle. We're gonna go ahead and take our sugar mix here. And you can see I already pre-sliced up the ham some. So all that seasoning and, and sugar and the clove flavor and stuff can all go seeping right into this ham. So we're gonna just kind of rub it into there. Really good, let it get all up in those cracks. Guys, how's it looking? It's looking pretty nice, right? See all that? It's all in the cracks there. 
just gonna give it a nice flavor. The same thing's gonna happen with the cloves too. We stick them in and stuff. It's just gonna seep down into there. This is gonna lash, guys. Oof, I love ham. What do you guys do with your hams? Let me know. Just curious. Now we're gonna flip it over. I'm gonna add some on the other side too. All right, guys, I'm gonna continue to do this and I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end. Here we have our smoked turkey leg. We added two slices of pineapple on there for some more flavor. And here goes our ham. Check it out. He's smiling now, guys. Let's see what happens when he's done baking. We're gonna put this in the oven and we're gonna to get to our uh, grilling. There's some bluefish that we caught the other day when we were fishing from our beach lime. I'm gonna go ahead and add some seasoning into the mix. We have green seasoning, which consists of our garlic, our bandana, and hot pepper. We also added some Tony's, some Goya adobo, all purpose, and some Badia lemon pepper into the mix here, and we just mixed it up. So we're gonna go ahead and add this into all the pre-cuts we have in the fish here. Check it out. So all the seasoning we're gonna rub into there. All right. In Trinidad, they call this fish ancho. I'm not sure what they call it in some other countries. Maybe leave in the comments, let me know what this fish is called in your country. Here in the States, it's called bluefish or possibly blue runner. Put a little bit more here. Rub it in these crevices. Look at that, guys. This is how you get the fish to taste good. And grill fish, I'll tell you again, like the last video, is the best fish, guys. Hands down. All right. I'm gonna stuff some in the belly there. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Now, usually when we catch the fish, I actually bleed it out because um, if you don't bleed it out, sometimes it kind of like the blood kind of, you know, I don't want to say stain the meat, but it makes it darker. So it helps make the, the meat more whitey and stuff, like a white flesh. I'm gonna put some inside the little in the head there too. All right, rub that all in real good. All right. I'll close that up and I'm gonna flip it over. All right, guys, I'm gonna continue to do this and then we'll do our other fish and I'll get back to you. Okay, guys, right here by the grill. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and put our fish on that we seasoned up. We're gonna let it grill up. All right. We'll let this grill up. We have our ham in the oven. Now we're gonna go season up our chicken. So let's do it. All right, guys, we're inside to season up our chicken. So here we have our chicken with green seasoning. We also added some Tony's, some Goya adobo, some soy sauce, and now we're gonna add the special ingredient, some Maggie jerk seasoning. We're not gonna add salt because all these other seasonings have enough salt in them. So we don't need to add any salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up now. And oh, I forgot black pepper, guys. Let me add the black pepper. Go ahead and mix this up. Look at that. It's better to, I think, use your hands so you can really get all that seasoning into all the crevices of the meat or, you know, whatever you're seasoning up, whether it be chicken or fish, pork. It's much better that way. How's it looking, guys? How's it looking? Yeah. This is gonna be nice. All right, guys. We'll finish marinating this up here, seasoning it up, rubbing it in, and we'll get back to you guys when we start grilling. All right, guys, we're checking on our fish. Check it out. How's it looking? 
looks like we need a little butter sauce on it. Check it out. We made a little butter sauce and we're gonna drizzle it in the cracks, like so. Nice. How's it looking, guys? Mm. This is gonna lash. Man, this butter sauce smells so good. All right. I'll cover this one back up and we're gonna add some butter sauce to our other one. As you guys can see, I already started putting some chicken on the grill. So we're gonna let that uh, start cooking up some too. Uh, oh, juice from our fish here is leaking out some. Ooh, this one's smoking. Check it out. Ooh, look at all the pineapple there, guys. Oh, gosh, I can't wait to try this. This is gonna lash. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's smelling good already. What do you guys think, huh? Adding all this nice, beautiful butter sauce in here. All right. I'll close this back up, let it cook a little bit more, and then it's done. All right, guys, check it out. Boom. Look at all that seasoning in the fish. We added a little lime pepper sauce there. Some fresh pepper sauce exactly. that our boy Khan made. How's it looking, guys? Beautiful. Exactly. All right, we're gonna try this out, me and the boys. Guys, you wanna try the fish? Come. This looks delicious. Oh yeah. All ingredients. Looks good. Definitely this is the best. Wow. This is good. Wow. Same reaction as last mm -hmm. time guys. Mm -hmm. Woo! That is good. Yes, it is. Hands down, grilled fish, guys. Yep. Forget curry fish, stewed fish. Grilled fish is the way to go. Look at that. All that seasoning, thyme, beautiful. And lime juice just hit it. Mm -hmm. That is lashing. Yes, that is lashing. Wow. Ooh. Good job. Good job, boys. Yep. Guys, how did that fish look? That fish is amazing. I tell you guys, I beg you guys, go with grilled fish. No curry, no stew. Grilled fish is where it's at. My boys will vouch for me. That's all they want now is grilled fish. We're back inside now, and we are going to make some potato salad. So in this pot, I'm gonna boil up some potatoes that we chipped up. I also have some Ditalini pasta which i'm gonna show you what it looks like almost not like elbow but a little bit smaller little pastas these are great too for soup by the way guys and i also put some salt in here so we're gonna let that boil up i also boiled up some eggs that i'm gonna shell up for our potato salad so we'll get back to you guys when we're mixing up our potato salad all right guys we're back outside with the chicken we're making up our sauce here we have barbecue sauce some onion some seasoning How's it look, guys? We're gonna add the secret ingredient, a little beer. All right. Nice, that is the secret ingredient. I'm gonna go ahead, stir this up some, and we're gonna start applying it to our chicken. All right, guys, we're saucing up our chickens here. Check it out. How's it looking? 
Love it. Love my chicken laced with sauce. And it cooks on there. Beautiful. It's a nice, nice day today. Everyone's liming outside, having a good time. Beautiful. All right, guys, we'll get back to you after our chicken is done. All right, guys, we're back here. We're going to check out our ham. I don't know what happened. He went in happy, and now he's sad. So I don't know. We also have our smoked turkey leg here, too. Check it out. Looking good. All right, we're going to cut some of this up, and we're going to let the crew taste it, and we'll get back to you guys. Uh -huh. That is smoke. All right, guys, we're back inside with the potato salad. This is how I do my eggs for the potato salad. I go ahead and use the grater and just grate the egg up. So we're gonna grate up all our eggs here, and then I'll show you guys what we're gonna do next. Okay, guys, check it out. Here's our potato salad. So here we have our grated egg. We have our Daitalini pasta that was boiling with our potato. I added some peas and frozen carrots into the pot to boil up with our potato and our daitalini. So now I'm gonna add the other ingredients to our potato salad. So I'm gonna go ahead and add our mayo. We'll add some first. I'm gonna add it as needed. Add a little pepper. All right. And we're gonna add some of our add parsley here and some celery, all diced up, like almost minced up. This was a bad spoon to use, guys. Should use something a little smaller. This potato salad will lash. You guys will see. All right, now we're gonna add a little evaporated milk and I'm gonna start stirring. All right, go ahead and start stirring this up. How's the color looking, guys? One thing with potato salad, I think the color is important too. Just looks beautiful. Some potato salad, it just looks plain. I'm gonna keep stirring this up, guys, and I'm gonna show you guys the final results. So we're gonna taste the food that my boy Trini made here today. We're gonna to taste the potato salad. Okay, very good. I'm gonna taste the noodles now. Mm -hmm. 
kudos to you. We got a barbecue chicken here. We got the roast corn here. And it looks delicious. But without even tasting, I know it's gonna be great. I don't have much to say. This food is good and very lashing. All right, guys, here's the final results. We're gonna try our potato salad here first. Check it out. Mm hmm Very nice. Creamy, very flavorful, a little spicy, but not bad. Just a little bit of spice. Very, very flavorful, very good. Here we have some noodles that Miss Carmen made. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very flavorful. Very nice, very, lots of flavor seasoning. Very good. Check out the barbecue. Look at the sausage just melted on there. Let's try it out. Mm. Wow. Wow. Holy smokes. The sauce is very nice. It's not runny. It sticks on the chicken real good. A little spicy, lots of flavor. The chicken is soft, moist, not dry. Guys, this is lashing. I want to say thank you for joining us today. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Have a good one.